Hey mom, welcome to Mothering with Karemi. Thank you for watching my previous video on cow milk versus breast milk. Today we are going to learn about cracked nipples, their prevention and how to treat them. Welcome. This is Mothering with Karimi. Today we are going to discuss about cracked nipples, which has been a challenge to most breastfeeding mothers. Most of you may be asking what are the causes of cracked nipples. The most common cause is improper breastfeeding position. By this I mean you position your baby, but the baby's mouth is not well latched to the areola. The areola is the black surrounding part uh, the black part that surrounds the nipple. So if your baby does not hold or grip the whole of that black part, or most part of it, that's when we say it's improper attachment. So if you have to position your baby, whereby there are many ways of positioning your baby, you can ensure that your baby's mouth is well attached to the areola. This will prevent your nipple from cracking. Another cause could be improper use of a breast pump. Once you purchase a breast pump, whether electric or manual, a manual is provided on how you're supposed to use it. Most of the time, there's a soft part that you are supposed to attach it before you attach it to your breast. Also ensure that it does not pump milk with a lot of pressure. This could bring friction to your breast and making your nipple crack. Another cause could be your baby's oral thrush. If you've noticed your baby is having an oral thrush, it's good to visit a doctor so that your baby can be put on, on um, oral and nestatin drops. This prevents the friction that may happen because your baby is having some rough thrushes on the mouth. Another cause could be flat nipples. This can be noticed during the antenatal clinic and your nurse will help you on how to pull your nipples in preparation for the birth of your baby to help your baby to latch well to your breast. Other ways of preventing your nipple from cracking could be applying literal milk on your nipple after, feed, after breastfeeding your baby. You can also prevent cracking of nipples by avoiding harsh uh, drying of your nipple and breasts while washing it or after washing it. Avoid harsh drying of your nipple. Now, once you have tried all this and they have failed, you will need to visit your doctor for further management. That further management could, uh, could engage use of medications like 100% alanolin cream that will be needed to apply on your nipples. You can also buy some glycerin, uh, glycerin breast pads that will prevent friction from your bra and uh, your nipples. Also ensure that you've worn a very well fitting bra. Your breast should not be loose after you fed your baby. Some of you may ask me, should I continue breastfeeding my baby even while I am experiencing cracked nipples and maybe my breasts are producing some blood or something like that. It's not really harmful for your baby to feed on the cracked nipples. If you're comfortable, it's good. As long as you have managed a good latch or a good grip, the baby has grabbed your breast well and the areola or the most part of the areola is in your baby's mouth, you can continue breastfeeding your baby. There's no harm in that. Others might, might find it very uncomfortable, so you can withhold breastfeeding between 24 to 48 hours and uh, at this time you can feed your baby with the expressed milk remember also uh, remember to express your milk if your baby is not breastfeeding because it can cause breast engorgement and remember breast engorgement is one of the causes of cracked nipples because your breast will be full hard and sore so your baby is not able able to latch to the hand breast so let's walk this journey of preventing cracking of nipples together. You can always contact me via my Facebook page, which is shown down on the screen. You can also contact me via the number shown above the screen. You can also contact me via email. 
motheringwithkaremi at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>